Well, firstly, a belated congratulations on, on making it through to the, the second round of the FA Youth Cup. Reflections on the first round winner at Mansfield first. How pleased were you with the performance as, as well as getting through? Um, yeah, pleased. I thought they took care of the processes, to be fair to them. I'd say you could feel, I wouldn't say nerves, but excitement in the first sort of 10, 15 minutes. We scored early, which some, sometimes helps and sometimes almost encourages a a game of less control because then we're going after things that we don't necessarily need to. But it, it ended quite a good development experience because they didn't kill the game off till so late that you could still sense that nervousness. The bit that was the most pleasing is they stuck with the plan, thought they controlled the game largely. Most of the game was played in their half, dominated possession and largely created a lot of chances. Um, and credit to obviously Tomo towards the end as well. He, he gave it away, but then he made up for it. So overall, a brilliant experience. Great to go through, but also I think a lot of learning in there. And was that the big lesson for them? Maybe you have to take these chances when they come because you never know what, what can happen in a game when you've not killed it off. I think it is in, you know, in football in general, uh, you know, People don't talk about momentum or maybe work on it enough, but it's definitely something we've been looking at. You know, how do you, one, get momentum? How do you keep it? If momentum's gone against you, can you feel it and try and almost put in a bit of a circuit breaker or something to kill the speed? Uh, that bit was actually quite pleasing, but I think naturally in those type of games, if it's 1-0 and you don't take your chances, you know, things will shift as you start to get later on. The bit that was really pleasing was mostly, I think they had one shot. So mostly, although we didn't kill the game off, we defended really well, even when we were attacking. I thought the lads at the back did great to sort of prevent any counter attacks. So I thought it, largely it was a game where we controlled it. How do they cope with the, the stadium experience? The, the one call stadium for, I would imagine, a lot of the boys is sort of the biggest venue they've ever played in before. Yeah, I, I thought it was great. I have to say as well, absolute credit to Mansfield, you know, for putting it on at their stadium. They'd marketed it well. There was a good crowd there. I thought the atmosphere was great. Their staff were brilliant. So just it really, the way they'd put it on, it was as close to feeling like a first team game as it could be. I do think probably you could feel it at the start. There was a, a little bit of nerves. I could sense that even in the warm up. Maybe, I know we spoke about, you know, getting, don't get caught up in the occasion, play the game. There was probably a little bit of getting caught up in the occasion at the start. Um, but they coped mainly well. You know, it was, again, a, a game really of, of dominance, um, which we would expect from them. Um, but it isn't always easy to do, especially against good teams like Mansfield you, that you know at times are going to cause you a problem. So, yeah, good experience, and I thought they did well. And the reward is, is a trip to Bolton in the second round. Uh, what shape is the group in going into this one? Yeah, largely they're in, um, in a good position. We haven't selected the squad yet. We've still got a couple of days of training in the build-up. Um, there's a couple of injuries, nothing that we didn't know leading into this game really. Obviously we played Arsenal yesterday, looked like we've got through that game pretty well. Um, so yeah, they're in great place. They're off the back of be six really good performances. Um, so at the moment the spirit's high and we seem to have momentum with us. Is this a step up in, in calibre of opposition as well, Bolton? Um, I wouldn't want to discredit uh, Mansfield because they cause us a problem. But, you know, Bolton's, again, got a good history of developing players. You know, has been a really good academy and continue to be. Um, so, yeah, they'll definitely cause us problems. I think sometimes when you're not used to playing teams all the time in your Category 1 programme, that naturally brings a different challenge. There's less... It's less familiar, I suppose. Um, but yeah, they'll definitely cause us problems, but it's up to us to impose our game on them um, and not sit off and let them bring their game to us. And because the draw for the third round's already taken place, you know who the potential opponent is. And I haven't seen it, no. Who's it? I'm only joking there. <laughs> Hand me for a second there. <laughs> and potentially the venue as well, although uh, that may be to be confirmed. But do you talk about the fact that, you know, Manchester United is the prize if you get through or are you trying to not talk about it? Trying to not would be... I apologise for asking. No, no, trying to not. No, but I've, of course, I'd be lying if lads hadn't mentioned it, if staff hadn't mentioned it. But I think it's important you just focus on the next game in front of you. That's the same as your first team would do and that's what they're preparing for. We had Arsenal, all the prep had been leading up to Arsenal yesterday. Now, 
our attention shifts to Bolton and it, it can't be any different in youth development. You can't get caught up thinking about something that hasn't happened yet.